Apart from the Avengers, the X-Men team has been another most popular group in the Marvel Universe. They debuted in the comics in 1963 and have featured in several animated series since then. From featuring as guest stars in other Marvel shows to having their own shows, they even got their movie franchise later on. The X-Men team has many characters and different series have portrayed different characters and timelines. Some of those characters are fan favorites even now and some are forgotten, whereas other characters never got their on-screen screen debut and we are hoping that Marvel can introduce them in its universe in the next phase. Although X-Men have their comics, movies, series, and video games, in this video we will be exploring every X-Men animated series that has aired till now, including the upcoming one. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The X-Men and the Marvel Superheroes The Marvel Superheroes debuted in 1966. It was the first television series that featured the Marvel Superheroes. This animated series featured five comic book heroes and ran for 65 episodes. The X-Men made their debut appearance on television with this series starring in one episode titled Doctor Doomsday. The original team included the Beast, Angel, Cyclops, Marvel Girl, and Iceman appeared in the episode. They were referred to as Allies for Peace. The story was an adaptation of a Fantastic Four issue 6 published in 1962. But the animation production did not have rights for the original Fantastic Four, so they replaced them with the X-Men. Precisely what I've asked Cerebro, Farstar. Greetings, X-Men. I am Cy the X-Men and Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends is a crossover series of Marvel characters. This show aired from 1981 to 1983 and was connected to the 1981 series Spider-Man. The main characters were Spider-Man, Iceman from X-Men, and an original mutant character, Firestar, created for the series. This trio was called the Spider-Friends, and they used to fight the villains from the Marvel Universe. The X-Men team made a few appearances in this series. First appearance was in the first episode of season two. The episode was titled The Origin of the Iceman, and as you can guess, this episode was a flashback where Iceman was retelling his origin story as he feared he was losing his mutant powers. During this flashback, the original X-Men members Beast, Angel, Cyclops, and Marvel Girl appeared along with Professor Xavier. They were all in their original costumes. The second appearance of the whole team was in the second episode of the same season titled A Firestar is Born. This was an origin flashback of Firestar where she was retelling her story in an X-Men reunion. Other X-Men members in this reunion were Angel and Cyclops, along with Wolverine and Storm, who were the latest additions to the team. The partly crashed after Juggernaut tried to destroy his stepbrother Professor X. Their third and final appearance was in the seventh episode of Season 3 titled The X-Men Adventure, where the Spider-Friends teamed up with the X-Men team when they were visiting the X-Mansion. The team here included Colossus, Cyclops, Nightcrawler, Storm, Sprite, Thunderbird, and Professor X. They all teamed up to fight Siberia. This world will what, Pyro? Ah, we've been expecting you. X-Men Pride of the X-Men 1989 The pilot episode of Pride of the X-Men originally aired on television in 1989. Unfortunately, this was the only episode that was broadcast and the series could not continue due to the financial issues they faced by Marvel. The characters that were featured in the show were Wolverine, Cyclops, Nightcrawler, Storm, Dazzler, and the newest member, Kitty Pride, after whom the show was named. The villains that featured were Magneto and Pyra. This was the first standalone series of X-Men, but sadly it could not get past the first episode and had cancelled, but the show became an on-screen debut for Kitty Pryde. Even though the series failed, it inspired an X-Men arcade game. X-Men, the animated series 1992 Finally, the X-Men got their own animated series in 1992. This series ran for five seasons till 1997 after Marvel's first attempt at the X-Men series did not pick up after the pilot episode. The team here consisted of original characters composed of Wolverine, Cyclops, Beast, Rogue, Storm, Jubilee, Gambit, Jean Grey, Professor X, and an original character Morph, who was an adaptation of the comic character Changeling. This series debuted several comic book characters
characters and portrayed several topics such as Christianity, divorce, AIDS hysteria, the Holocaust, and loneliness. With progressive writing, tackling important issues, impressive animation, and a catchy theme song, this show lasted so long and became a huge hit among fans that it paved the way and gave confidence for Marvel to make movies on these characters. The success of this series was such that Marvel announced a revival in the form of a direct sequel of this animated series produced by the studio to be released in 2024 on Disney+. Plus. X-Men Evolution 2000 to 2003. X-Men Evolution came after the success of X-Men the Animated Series. This series premiered in 2000 and ran till 2003 for four seasons. The plot focused on the team when they were teenagers rather than adults. This was when they learned how to control their developing mutant powers and face the threats. The success of its predecessor increased the chance of this series to be popular among the fans. This series also became the third longest running animated series for Marvel's comic characters at that time. It introduced one of the major original characters, Laura Kinney, aka X-23. She then became a character in the X-Men comics and also played a huge part in the 2017 film Logan, which is considered the best Wolverine film. Wolverine and the X-Men 2009. This fourth animated X-Men series premiered in 2009 and had 26 episodes. Wolverine and the X-Men followed the story of Wolverine trying to reassemble the team and leading them after a devastating incident that was the cause of the disappearances of Charles Xavier and Jean Grey. The series starts when Rogue and Wolverine argue. Suddenly, Charles and Jean start having headaches and an explosion occurs, after which the two of them disappear. The X-Mansion was also destroyed because of the explosion. The team was devastated by their loss, disbanded, and went their separate ways. Some moved continents, others went into isolation, and some moved back to their parents' house. All the mutants were then hunted down by the Mutant Response Division. This forced Wolverine to find his teammates and reunite them against the threat. This show received a lot of praise from its viewers and had a successful first season. But sadly, it was cancelled after 26 episodes because Disney acquired Marvel properties. Otherwise, this series had a lot of potential and could have been among the longest-running animated X-Men series. Marvel Anime Wolverine 2011 Marvel Anime Wolverine was released in 2011 and had a run of 12 episodes in the anime style. This was a collaboration between Marvel Entertainment, Sony Pictures Japan, and Madhouse, a Japanese animation studio. It was a part of four 12-episode anime series of four Marvel superheroes. Each hero had a 12-episode miniseries. The superheroes were Wolverine, Iron Man, X-Men, and Blade. Wolverine is a part of all four, having his own series, being a part of the X-Men, and appearing as guest stars in Iron Man and Blade. The Wolverine series plot revolves around Logan and his beloved girlfriend Mariko Yoshida. Mariko disappeared a year ago and Logan learned that her father, who was the head of the Japanese crime syndicate Kuzu Ryu, had taken her to Tokyo with him. He wanted his daughter to marry the Yakuza boss Hideki Kurohagi. Wolverine then embarked on a quest to rescue his love and fight the opponents that came along the way. The Wolverine in this series was a brutal and dark version of how we usually saw him in earlier animation adaptations. The violence in Logan's story wasn't toned down and the series gave Marvel fans a great experience of anime. It is considered one of the best animated pieces by Marvel to date. X-Men Anime 2011 The 12-episode X-Men Anime started airing after the end of The Wolverine Show. This was the third show in the anime series by Marvel in collaboration with the Japanese Madhouse and Japan's Sony Pictures Entertainment. The cast included the mutants Wolverine, Cyclops, Storm, Professor X, and Beast. The plot commenced after the death of Jean Grey, who was controlled by the Dark Phoenix. Professor X reassembled the X-Men and they traveled to Japan after Armor was abducted by u -Man. This is a team of supervillains who are abducting young mutants to harvest their organs. The X-Men fight the U-Men and also come to know of Damon Hall Syndrome, which was creating problems in the young mutants when they were going through their second mutation. The team also dealt with Inner Circle, who were responsible for the death of Jean Grey. The animation style is really impressive in this show, and it definitely deserves a watch. This is one of the best anime from Marvel, and the last one starring X-Men in over a decade.
Upcoming X-Men 97 2024 After a long wait of over 25 years, Marvel is finally releasing a revival which is also a sequel to their hit series X-Men The Animated Series. This series is expected to be released in March of this year and will be streaming on Disney+. Plus. One of the greatest cliffhangers in the Marvel Animated Series will finally see its answer and all the fans have been eagerly waiting for this. All the beloved mutant superheroes are expected to be back, from Wolverine, Jean Grey, Cyclops, Storm, Storm, Rogue, Gambit, Nightcrawler, and Beast, to Dr. Hank and Mr. Sinister. These characters will be seen fighting alongside Magneto after the fifth season of the hit show ended in 1997 with an unresolved ending. The story might resume from the anti-climax when the X-Men said goodbye to Professor X. Wolverine and Storm might be the team leaders now with Magneto being the main in charge after Professor X left him with a responsibility. Mr. Sinister might still be the main villain. The series is also expected to adopt more X-Men comic book plot just like his predecessor did with the Days of Future Past and the Dark Phoenix Saga. Marvelous Verdict The X-Men has been one of the best franchises in the Marvel Universe. It has a huge loyal fan base and never fails to deliver for them. After churning out the successful animated series, X-Men got their own movie series too, featuring all their favorite comic book and animated series characters. They reached a newer generation of audiences and inspired video games and merchandise. Hugh Jackman became synonymous with Wolverine and Logan became one of the best X-Men movies for both critics and fans. Despite all the recognition and popularity X-Men did not get a chance to be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe yet. However, in the animated series, Spider-Man got a chance to meet the team and work together with some mutant friends. It is believed that the MCU will be bringing the X-Men and the Avengers along with other MCU characters together after their reboot, which is expected to happen post the release of Avengers Secret Wars in 2027. It would be exciting to see the X-Men meeting and collaborating with the great Avengers superheroes. Seeing the mutants and the superheroes fighting the villains together would be a treat to all Marvel fans across the world. The upcoming Deadpool movie will also feature Wolverine and it would be amazing to have Deadpool as well in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. All the crossovers of all the greatest superheroes in Earth-616 fighting the greatest supervillains in the world and across dimensions. Though X-Men have several standalone and crossovers across books and media of their own, they have not been able to get as much love and recognition as the mainstream Marvel heroes who are a part of the MCU. Their movies do not not cross billions worldwide and are not anticipated as much as the MCU. However, Marvel's craze is slowing down with a decreased quality in recent years, so it is about time we get a crossover of both the teams and surprise the fans. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone. Yeah.